So you just started playing Muck, or you've been playing for a while, but you don't know what every material is used for. In this video, I'll show you every recipe in the game, and I've divided this video into parts, so you can just skip to where you need the information. Let's get it started! Starting with the armor sets, obviously, you're gonna need the corresponding bar with the type of armor you need. So keep in mind, across all the sets, the head, the legs, and the feet all cost the same amount of bars. Head being 5, legs 15, feet 5, and only the chest will cost 20 bars for iron and mithril, and it will cost 15 bars for the other chest pieces. And you can see on the right, the total amount of bars it costs to complete the set. And next to that, I posted how much armor each set will give you. Feel free to pause the video here. Before we move on, I wanted to talk about the other armor sets, the Chunkium and the Wolf armor set. If you'll notice that there is a set bonus for both of them. So the Chunkium has an armor set of 60% increased attack length. However, the overall armor value, you can see right here in the top right, is 36. That's about the same as the Mithril armor set. So, you know, if you want the extra range, go for it, but you're also losing a lot of armor. Totally up to you. Now for the wolf skin set, we see in the top right, it gives 18 armor. That's the same amount of armor you'll get from wearing a gold set, but the set bonus is really nice. It gives you 50% increased movement speed. And I've got to say with the set bonus, you do move a lot faster, but it's totally up to you whether you like it or not. I personally, I'd like having a lot more armor because I get hit a lot and everything hurts in this game. So I try to stack as much armor as I can. So if you want the wolf skin set, you're gonna need 45 wolf skin and flax fibers. You're gonna need 45 of those. And to get the flax fibers, you're gonna need a Fletcher's table. In the Fletcher's table, go to miscellaneous and you can change your flax into flax fibers. And flax is just the flowers on the ground. So let's go make a couple right now. See, boom, boom, boom. Just make a couple. You're gonna need 45 to complete the set. Moving on to the tools and swords, it's pretty much all the same. You'll need 10 pieces of each of the respective wood for the axe and the pickaxe, and you'll need five bark each for the axe and the pickaxe. So let's just go to mithril here. You'll see we've got the pickaxe here. It needs fir wood, so you'll need 10 fir wood, five mithril bars, and five bark in order to complete it. I have on the right here the total amount of bars that you'll need. Let's move that over here. Move that over here. On the right here, I have the total amount of bars you'll need to complete the entire set. Now the swords are very simple. They do not require any bark. All they need is their bars and they need their respective wood. So for example, the gold sword only needs five gold bars and five wood. The steel sword is different though. It's gonna need seven bars and five birch wood in order to complete it. But then the pattern continues. The rest of the swords are the same. They just need five of their bars and then five of their wood. I'll just hover over here, the adamantite, you got your bars, and then you got your oak wood. And for the abomian, you got your bars here, and then the dark oak wood. Keep in mind, there is no abomian pickaxe, and there is no abomian axe in the game, so. Okay, so onto the food. Um, one thing to note is that you'll probably need to know how to make dough. Dough is very simple, you're just gonna need wheat, and you're gonna have to know how to make some bowls. Bowls are very important. Bowls are simple, you just go to the workbench, go to basic, and all it requires is one wood to make a bowl. I already have some bowls here, so I won't make any more. And if you want to make dough, you just need five wheat. So boom, bam, got another piece of dough here. Okay, now onto the recipes. Doesn't matter how many you put in here, doesn't matter where you put it. As long as you have one of each to fulfill the recipe, then you will get whatever it is you want to make. So all the shrooms is simple. You just get a bowl and the shroom color. And look, yellow gets yellow soup. So. Guys, say it with me. What happens when we put the rainbow mushroom with the bowl and we cook it? We get the rainbow soup. Amazing. Now, another recipe is the apple pie. The apple pie is really good. And like I said, doesn't matter where you put it. It just requires one of each. It's the same for all the food that you have to make. Boom, apple pie. You can also make meat pie. So you put the raw meat instead of the apples and boom, there we got it, meat pie. You can also cook meat plain to just get cooked meat. Um, if you wanna know what food is best, typically is if you put more recipes inside of this box, you'll get better food. So for example, the meat pie and the apple pie fills up three of these slots to make it. So those foods are typically better. They give you more, they satisfy your hunger better. They'll give you more health back. In the last recipe, we got the raw meat with the bowl and this will give us meat soup. Boom, meat soup. Oh, and I also forgot. You can just cook dough plain and this will give you the final piece, 
the bread. And there you have it. You got your mushroom soups at the top, and then you have a meat soup. You got your meat pie, your apple pie, your bread, and your cooked meat. These are all the foods that you can cook right here, and highly recommend you do it in your runs because they are well worth it. It gives you so much health back, so much stamina, and it gives you a lot of hunger back. Now let's talk about the most interesting part of the game, the legendary weapons. Damn, boy, that's a thick Now, I'm not gonna say which weapon is best, I'm not gonna make a tier list, but the most important thing to know is that all the weapons are great, and if you get a chance to make one early in your run, you absolutely should make it as soon as possible. For the Wyvern Dagger, you're going to need a Wyvern Claw, which has a chance of dropping off one of the Wyverns, and you're going to need 10 Oak Wood. It is the fastest weapon in the game, but that also means its high end and low end damage are the lowest. And for Gronk's sword, you're gonna need a blade, a sword hilt, and 10 dark oak wood. You can get the blade to drop off of Gronk himself, it can also get the sword hilt to drop off himself too. I've seen the blade drop off of different mobs and I've seen the sword hilt drop off of different mobs too. And you do have a chance of getting the entire sword complete, dropping off of Gronk after you kill him too. Next we have the Night Blade. There's a very small chance you can find the sword already completed in a chest. And the Black Shard has a very small chance of dropping off of the Guardian. You will need one Black Shard and 15 Dark Oak Wood to complete the sword. Next we have the Chunky Hammer. To get this, you need a Hammer Shaft and 15 Chunky and Bar. Uh, to get the Hammer Shaft, you gotta kill one of the large, big Chungus Chunky Boys. And you got a chance to get the Hammer Shaft to drop off of them. And you need 15 Chunky and Bars. You get the Chunky and Barms, uh, Chunky and Bars off of the chunky boys, and you need 15 of those to complete the uh, the chunky hammer. Now onto chief spear, you need a spear tip and 15 dark oak wood. The spear tip drops off of the chief himself, and you can also find the spear tip in the villages. Um, in some of their chests, they'll have a spear tip in them, or the chief spear complete. Very small chance of all that happening. And one thing I'd like to add is that the chief spear has the longest range out of all the weapons in the entire game, so, if that's something you're interested in, then maybe you want to use the Chief Spear. Like the Gronk Sword, you have a very small chance of the enti entire spear just dropping off of killing one of the Chiefs. Now onto my favorite, we got the Ancient Bow. You're gonna need an Ancient Bone and a Rope. Why I like this so much is that it's very easy to obtain. You get it off the zombie guys who throw bones early on in the game, and even Gronk has a chance of dropping the bone himself. And you just need a rope. So you just need wheat and some bark, and then there you have it. You have an ancient bow. And what I like about it so much is that it's kind of like a shotgun. So instead of shooting one arrow, it'll shoot three. There you go. See? Really cool, really good, and definitely my favorite weapon. Okay, moving on to the bows. Bows are very straightforward, just like everything else in this game. So we got the wood bow. You're gonna need 10 wood and one rope. For the birch bow, you're gonna need one rope and then 10 birch wood. For the fur bow, you're gonna need one rope, 10 fur wood, and you guessed it, the oak bow, you're gonna need one rope and 10 oak wood. And now for the arrows, you got the flint arrow, the steel, the mithril, the adamantite, and then we have the special ones, the fire arrow, the lightning arrow, and the water arrow. Very easy to make. In order to make four or just one stack, you're gonna need two wood, one flint to make a flint arrow. For the steel arrow, you're gonna need two birch wood, one iron bar. For the mithril arrow, two fir wood, one mithril bar, adamantite, you're gonna need two oak wood and one adamantite bar. Moving on to the fire arrow, you're gonna need two dark oak wood and one fireball. Now the balls, <laughs> now the energy balls, okay? Let's be mature here, it's not that funny, but the balls, they drop off the different type of dave. So there's the water dave, the lightning dave, and the fire dave and you got a chance of them dropping their respective ball. You just need one of those, two dark oak wood, and then you can make a stack. And these arrows are just stronger than the rest of them, so if you ever get the chance, make them. I mean, you're not gonna use these materials for anything else, so you might as well make the arrows, and they're really good. And there you have it. I covered the most important recipes you'll encounter in the game. I did miss a few, like the stations, buildings, ropes, but I feel like I covered the most important stuff that will help you have more efficient runs. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. I put a lot of effort in making this video look good and one small click helps this channel grow in a big way. If you want to see more videos, subscribe. I'll be making more Muck videos in the future. I've beaten this game on gamer difficulty multiple times, so I want to create a great guide on how to improve your runs and ultimately beat Muck on gamer difficulty. So subscribe if you don't want to miss the moment I release these kinds of videos.